My name is Prasad Parvatanini and I manage the global database infrastructure at NASDAQ. As you all know, NASDAQ is a leading exchange operator and we provide market technology to about 70 markets in more than 50 countries. Over 10% of the world's equities transactions are conducted on NASDAQ's trading platform. As NASDAQ continues to expand globally, our database infrastructure needs to be resilient, scalable, and highly performant. In addition to my day-to-day -day administration activities in NASDAQ, my team was tasked with developing and implementing a plan to migrate thousands of databases from a legacy network to a more modern and secure network infrastructure in less than six months. As you all know, financial reporting is very crucial to all the clients and NASDAQ database infrastructure needed to have zero downtime during and beyond the migration. The biggest challenge we, we had to face was to switch back seamlessly to the legacy network in case there were any issues. We had thousands of pieces to migrate and to maintain the day-to-day -day operations of NASDAQ and there was absolutely no downtime allowed for the applications and no maintenance window. We had to migrate the applications and the databases separately without anyone knowing the effects of the migration. So we needed an abstraction layer to decouple the application and the databases. This architecture was necessary to maintain zero downtime. Scalar technology was transparent to both databases and applications, and there was no code changes required. Because the apps connect to the Scalar instead of directly to the databases, Scalar acts as a bridge and the applications can connect using virtual IPs instead of the database IPs. So this not only benefits the migration project, but it also is going to be used by other future projects at NASDAQ. With the help of ScaleArc, we were able to complete the migration in less than six months and able to transition to a more modern and secure network without any delays and downtime. Stock prices are a perfect example for query caching since they are not prone for fluctuations after the market close. Using Scalax query caching, we were able to see a steep reduction in database traffic. Once again, we didn't have to make any code changes in the application to benefit from the performance boost. We would like to expand Scalax technology across our Oracle databases as well. Today, the failover is manual, but we would like to make it automatic.